This is a quick guide to Japan's first indigenously designed and successfully flown civilian aircraft, the Narahara No. 2, whose first flight predated the Kaishiki No. 1 by several months. For more information on the latter, please see my video on the subject. Once again, I must apologize in advance for my questionable pronunciation. For reference, Japanese names are presented in the traditional fashion with the family name first. Arahara Sanji was born on 29th December 1876, the second son of Baron Narahara Shigeru, the governor of Okinawa Prefecture and a retainer of the Satsuma clan. Around the time that he graduated from the Faculty of Ordnance of Tokyo Imperial University, he had already published his own design for an aeroplane. In April 1908 he joined the Navy and was assigned to the Yokosuka Naval Arsenal as a Naval Assistant Engineer. Because of his recognized talent for aviation, he became a member of the Provisional Military Balloon Research Association, organized in 1909. Separate from his official work with the PMBRA, Narahara started building his aeroplane in his father's garden, then at Shiojo Yotsuya, Tokyo. After his first aeroplane, and unable to continue building aircraft there, Narahara established the Tokyo Hikoki Seisakusho Tokyo Aeroplane Manufacturing Works in Tsunohazu, Shinjuku, Tokyo. An early project at this factory was the manufacture of 3 meter diameter airship propellers for the PMBRA. This established Narahara and his company as a factory for the association. Consulting foreign aeronautical publications and using his own inventive nature, Narahara designed his number one aircraft beginning in May of 1910, seven months before Captains Tokugawa and Hino made the first aeroplane flights in Japan. As can be seen from the accompanying picture, the aeroplane was of unusual configuration, being a highly staggered tractor biplane with a very shallow gap between the wings. The double surface wings were so arranged that the trailing edge of the upper wing, level with the pilot, was only slightly aft of the leading edge of the lower wing, which was practically resting on the undercarriage. The bamboo open structure of the fuselage was wire braced and supported a forward facing 25 horsepower Anzani engine at the nose. In addition to horizontal and vertical tail surfaces, there was an outraked forward horizontal surface believed to have acted as the elevator. This was of wide span and carried vertical triangular surfaces near its tips, said to prevent side slipping. There were two main wheels of the proven Blario type and a large diameter tail wheel. Originally, the undercarriage comprised twin main wheels each side of a skid, but the skid was removed. The fabric surfaces were coated with a paint made from grass paste as a primer and shibu, an astringent juice as a finish. Construction took approximately six months to complete. On the 24th, 30th and 31st of October 1910, Narahara attempted to fly the aeroplane at Toyomagahara military parade grounds in Tokyo, but the best it could manage was a height of about 30 centimeters. He concluded that the aeroplane was underpowered, and though he had placed an order for a 50 horsepower Gnome engine through a trading company, a 25 horsepower Anzani had been delivered. The aircraft was sold to the PMBRA for ground operational study. In early 1911, Narahara Sanji ordered for a second time a 50 horsepower Gnome engine, and this time it was delivered. For this he designed an entirely new aircraft that he called the number no. 2. Influenced by new British and French designs, some dihedral was applied to the wings and ailerons were fitted. Once again he used a tractor layout and placed the pilot seat in an open pod behind the engine, using booms on which to mount the tail. Because of reports of pilots being injured by splintered bamboo and mishaps in other countries, wooden structural members were substituted. The aeroplane was taken to Takurazawa Flight Test Grounds, newly established as the first airfield in Japan. On May 5, 1911, Narahara succeeded in flying this aeroplane five months after two imported aircraft had made the first flights in Japan. 
His first flight covered 60 meters at about 4 meters in altitude, establishing the first flight recorded by a Japanese-made aeroplane. This historic event ended with a slight mishap when an undercarriage strut broke upon landing and damaged the propeller. In later flights, the aeroplane recorded a maximum air distance of approximately 600 meters at a height of approximately 60 meters. It was with this aeroplane that the first civilian flying training was undertaken. Some of the students, including Shirato Ainosuke, Imamura Imajiro, and Goto Ginjiro, were later to become well known in Japanese aviation. The Narahara No. 3 aeroplane was made from reassembled parts taken from the worn and damaged No. 2 after its many training flights. This new aircraft was a two-seat trainer with a more orthodox fuselage instead of the pod and tail boom layout. Initially the structure was left uncovered, but when it was covered it was of the highest quality used on any of the Narahara aeroplanes, being a layer of silk over a layer of cotton with the weaves diagonal and bonded. Wing dihedral was eliminated and the ailerons consisted of the pull-down only type for both the number 2 and number 3 aircraft. A more rugged undercarriage with four wheels and landing skids were incorporated. The Gnome engine was taken from the number 2. This aircraft also flew successfully and became a trainer not only for the previously mentioned Shirato Ainosuke, who later established the Shirato Aeroplane Research Studio, but also for Ito Otajiro, eventually of the Ito Aeroplane Research Studio, and Kawabe Saken, later to be principal of the Toa Professional Flying School, who also assisted Narahara with his work. A gust of wind destroyed the number no. 3 airplane while it was on the ground in September of 1911. This incident, along with reports from other countries about airplane crashes and pilot fatalities, brought about Narahara's family's insistence that he should not continue flying, and since he was more interested in the design and building of aircraft, he agreed. Therefore, Shirato Ainosuke became the instructor, while Narahara concentrated on the building of other airplanes. By this time, he had left the Navy with the equivalent engineering rank of Navy Lieutenant Architect. It should be pointed out that while he was technically part of the Navy during the construction of his aircraft, these are considered to be civilian aircraft, as he was uh, conducting their construction purely independently. In the autumn of 1911, Narahara's group was joined by Iwamoto Shuhei, later a professor of Tokyo University, and Shiga Kiyoshi. By March 1912, they had created the Narahara No. 4, with the help of Kawabe Saken, Ito Otajiro, and Goto Ginjiro. It had received the name of Otoriko, after a champion sumo wrestler, at the request of a sponsor who supported the project. The aeroplane performed well and was taken on exhibition tours with flights at major cities around Japan to demonstrate what was referred to as their Japanese-made civil aeroplane. Since there were no airfields in Japan at this time, flights were made from racetracks or military parade grounds of such relatively small size that landings and takeoffs were very near the spectators. During the first of these exhibition flights on 13th April 1912 at Kawasaki Racetrack, Kanagawa Prefecture, a failing engine caused the aeroplane to land short, allowing a wingtip to strike a schoolboy, breaking his arm. The aeroplane was again demonstrated on 11th and 12th of May at the Aoyama Military Parade Ground for His Highness the Crown Prince Yoshihito, later Emperor Taisho, and his three sons, one of whom would go on to become Emperor Showa, better known as Hirohito. Also in attendance was Field Marshal Yamagata Aritomo and many other high-ranking officers. These demonstrations brought Narahara an award by the Imperial House, the first distinction given to someone involved in Japanese civil aviation. The last exhibition flight by the Otori No. 4 was in Seoul, Korea on the 3rd and 4th of April 1913.
In May 1912, Narahara established Japan's first civil aerodrome on the sandy beach at low tide by Inage in Chiba Prefecture because the airfield at Takarazawa had been declared to be used only by the Provisional Military Balloon Research Association. While the Narahara No. 4 Otori Go was touring Japan with demonstration flights by Shirato, the Narahara No. 5 Otori Nisei Go, meaning Otori II, was built. It was almost identical to the No. 4, but was powered by a 70-horsepower gnome rotary engine and had a strengthened undercarriage. This aeroplane was completed in June of 1913 and made exhibition flights at Ibaragi, Toyama, Ishikawa and Niigata from June to September that year. Narahara Sanji eventually retired completely from aviation at his family's insistence. His aviation activities were first taken over by Shirato Ainosuke, who then began manufacturing aeroplanes under his own name, and provided flying training at Inage Beach. In addition to Shirato's activities, Ito Otojiro also became known for his aviation endeavors, and between the two a new era of civil aviation began in 1913 stemming from Narahara's works and centered at the Shirato Ito airfields. Only one of each type were manufactured, and I know of no survivors, nor of any replicas. However, a model of the Narahara No. 2 is apparently displayed at the Takarazawa Aviation Museum. <laughs>